This uncertainty in food reflects food hardship across the country. 5.6 million households with children struggling to put enough food on the table in the last seven days. Landlords filed at least 43,500 evictions in 17 major cities from March until September. An estimated 13.4 million adults living in rental housing today, nearly one in five renters were not caught up on rent. Small businesses don't know if they are going to survive or exist in a month, in a week, in January. We cannot afford to wait for a new administration or another election or a political state of play. We need to get people help now and the Senate broke. They broke. We are supposed to be here to work for everyday people. We are not supposed to be here to work for political donors or political favors or, or the powerful. We are here to serve the people who are most vulnerable all the way up to the top. But we start with the people most in need. Our country is going hungry on the week before Thanksgiving and the Senate broke. I don't care what party you are. It is an abandonment of our responsibilities as elected officials who are charged with acting in the public trust. The unemployment rate jumped in April to a level not seen since the 1930s and still stood at 6.9% in October. Some 10.8% of black workers and 8.8% of Latino workers were unemployed in October compared to 6% of white workers. 1.1 million Americans filed new unemployment claims last week. 4.4 million Americans are receiving pandemic emergency unemployment compensation up from 1.4 million in August. Last week was the 35th straight week total initial claims were greater than the worst week of the Great Recession and the Senate broke. You know, I want to address some of the claims because yesterday I said that we need to make sure that people get economic relief due to these shutdowns. And I was surprised to hear so many Republicans now concerned about how we're gonna pay for it or using other people's money. But the Senate Majority Leader wasn't concerned about other people's money when he authorized a $4 trillion leveraged bailout for Wall Street in March. He wasn't concerned about where that money came from. He wasn't concerned about how we were gonna pay for that. It is only when we are talking about relief for working people, for children, for families, for parents, for education, for health care, that all of a sudden we, we can't pay for any of these things. But when it comes to tax subsidies for private jets, we've got the money for that. When it comes to the endless appropriation towards more and more military spending, when we aren't even technically in, in growing elements of war, according to some people, we have money for that, but we don't have money to feed our own kids. We don't have money to educate people. We don't have money to provide health care. 